Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're diving into a common challenge faced by many developers. Our viewer asks, how can I animate a CalAir shadow simultaneously as a UI table view cell height animates? Let's break down the issue. Our viewer is trying to expand and collapse a UI table view using the begin updates and end updates methods. They want to drop shadow to animate smoothly during this transition. However, the shadow is currently drawn immediately based on the new cell size, which disrupts the desired effect. The viewer has set up a shadow layer in their custom UI table view cell, but they face a challenge. When they call begin updates, the shadow updates instantly instead of animating along with the cell height. They need a way to link the shadow animation to the UI table views updates. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you're looking for. Guys, let's get ready to try and work through to that resolution, and remember to just stay a little bit crazy, just like me. Now, let's continue on. To animate the shadow of a UI table view cell while it expands or collapses, we need to ensure that the shadow layer updates correctly during the animation. First, let's review how we set up the shadow layer in our custom UI table view cell. In the view did load method, we create the shadow layer and insert it below the content view. Next, we configure the shadow properties in layout subviews. This is where we define the shadow color, offset, opacity, and path. Now to ensure the shadow animates smoothly with the cell height changes, we need to wrap our updates in a cat transaction. This allows us to control the timing of the animations. Finally, call begin updates and end updates on your UI table view. This will trigger the animations for both the cell height and the shadow layer simultaneously. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To animate a CalAir shadow while a UI table view cell height changes, you can create a custom Cabasic animation. This method avoids issues with snapping during animations. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. Animating shadows with UI table view cell height changes can be tricky. UI table view may not create a cat transaction or may delay it until updates finish. This means you can't easily access the animation parameters it uses. To sync your shadow animations, inspect the animations UI table view creates and mimic their timing. You can swizzle the add method on CalAir to see what animations are being added, which is useful for debugging. Ultimately, you'll need to commit your own shadow layer animations in the table view will display cell method for the cells that are displayed. And that's it guys. I hope the video helped find that resolution you were looking for. And you know, if it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until next time guys, that you need more technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.